Hi Scott, I'm down here and I have some duck in front of me and I love the way you do your duck. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start this. I have a bowl. I'm gonna put in a little bit of California extra virgin olive oil grown locally here in Northern California. And then I have some brown sugar, just about, oh, about two tablespoons. I also have some teriyaki sauce. I'm gonna put in there. I have some shallots. We're gonna put some fresh ginger in the bowl. Fresh Italian parsley, some sage. Some people like this a little sweeter. You can add more brown sugar if you prefer. I like it a little more savory. I have some crushed red pepper flakes. I'm gonna put that in there. And then we have some salt and some pepper. Last but not least, some Jack Daniels. If people prefer to use the recipe without the alcohol, you could put some type of fruit juice into it. And it doesn't have to marinate overnight. If you prefer to marinate it overnight, the, the flavor will be more intense throughout the meat. My preference is about four to six hours in the refrigerator. So you'd want to put the olive oil in after the pan has gotten warm so that when you put the meat into the pan, you get a nice sizzle, a nice sear, and it doesn't start to steam the meat. I'm going to put it fat side down. See, it's just starting to smoke, so it's perfect. You get a nice sizzle. You don't want to crowd your pan. If you crowd the pan, too much liquid will come out or moisture will come out of the duck and you'll start to steam the meat as well. So you do want a pretty intense heat as you start this. I'm also going to put just a little bit more fresh ground pepper and kosher salt. I do ground my pepper freshly before all my ingredients. That's also kind of important. They, they lose their flavor and in the containers while they sit on the shelf. Now I don't want to overcook the duck, but I do want to cook it a little bit longer with the skin side down. I want to render the fat just slightly so it gets nice and crispy. And these ducks we're cooking today are two very nice fat mallard duck breasts with the wing on. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a flip now. That's caramelization. There's a lot of brown sugar in the marinade, so it's going to get it nice and nice and brown, a nice golden color. That's a lot of the sugars plus the fat rendering. This is cooking nicely. We're getting a nice crust, a nice searing on both sides. So we have the duck breast that's been resting so that the juices will distribute evenly through the meat and not go all over the board when we start to cut it. So I have some uh, specialty lettuces, some, some small baby greens here. I'm just going to rest one of the breasts there. And then the other breast I'm gonna cut, I use the skin side, the nice crisp, crispy rendered fat side as our presentation side. So this is the side you wanna see. I like to slice it somewhat thin and hopefully you can see that. It's a nice medium rare. You can uh, cook the fat side down a little bit longer if you choose. Oh, it looks and smells wonderful. I wish you folks could smell this. And then what I'll do is slide my knife underneath so it gives a nice little presentation. I have a homemade vinaigrette a balsamic vinaigrette. I'm just gonna drizzle all over this. And that, Scott, that is how we do duck in a truck.